One of the lessons I learned is if if a vend if a customer chooses a vendor, they're probably not switching for three years. Typically. Right. And so, well, if that's the case and you're early in a category, then you want to acquire as many customers as possible. Because if they're not switching for three years, even if you have a product that needs a lot of work, the faster that you can grow, the more opportunity you have to influence that user or the buyer, get as much feedback about the product and shape the ecosystem in the way that's advantageous to you. And so I think there's a very real argument that startups should try to um, almost grow ec uneconomically, right? If you look at these coding agents, they're growing uneconomically because just like a social network, they believe that the distribution ultimately will be able to be commercialized. Like a social network, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know how much money, I don't know how many users Facebook had before they commercialized, but well over a hundred million. Google, same thing. Lots of distribution with search before they added the monetization model. Same is true for open source software. If you think about open source software, broad number of GitHub stars, thousands and thousands, MongoDB would be a great example, or, um, uh, HashiCorp would be another, where there are lots of people using these open source projects before there's ever commercialization. And we can make an argument that, especially for bottoms up software companies, the same strategy should work well, where you can subsidize growth and get to a massive build a brand, which itself is a defensible asset, um, but, but get the distribution then have economies of scale and then figure out the underlying monetization. As long as you can raise the capital to subsidize the growth viable strategy.